it comes to terrorism suspects, that uh, more of them have come, in, come from across the northern border as opposed to the southern border. It new at 11, a national security fight right here in Cleveland. Staying ahead of those who would harm us is top priority for those who patrol Lake Erie. And as News Channel 5's Kristen Volk shows us, they now have a new weapon in the fight. Out here on Lake Erie, these deputies patrol a massive area all the way from Cleveland to Canada. They're on the lookout for human traffickers, drug smugglers, even terrorists, using both simple detective work and sophisticated technology. The engines are roaring, the radar is on, and the deputies are equipped. As this high-tech sheriff boat heads to the Canadian border today, travel time from Cleveland is just 40 minutes. Most people don't think of Cleveland as being on a border with, uh, with a foreign country. Along the way, Sergeant Dave Sankowski and his team are surveying these waters, looking for anyone or anything suspicious. We see a boat coming across from the Canadian border. We're going to pull up next to it. We're going to ask, we're going to ask where they're coming from, name, write down their identification numbers. And they're laser focused on the border, which is in the middle of Lake Erie. This is the actual border as it appears on our GPS screen. And it's where drug smuggling is a big problem. Deputies say marijuana, cocaine, and acid are the most commonly confiscated drugs out here. On the water, we're making our best effort to be proactive, uh, to stop something before it possibly happens. They've got the tools and the technology on board to help combat crime, chemical sensors, nuclear reactor detection units, and state-of-the-art radar and GPS systems. It's all aboard this 35-foot, $1.2 million Boston whaler that the Cuyahoga County Sheriff acquired last year. And deputies use it to patrol 600 square miles of Lake Erie. They pay close attention to the Cleveland shoreline, inspecting these bridges for acts of terrorism, patrolling the Cuyahoga River, and keeping an eye on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which deputies say could be a symbolic terrorist target. Deputies patrol these waters about four days a week from about May until September. In Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.